Let's go. Today I'm gonna put a sliding gate on my wooden gate um, fences. So what I'm gonna do first is uh, I'm gonna measure the whole entire post from that end, the last one, until all the way to the post, which is where the gate's gonna close. So uh, I measure it like the whole entire gate is about 14 feet wide. So uh, the panel comes with like eight. Eight foot, uh, eight foot each panel so I have to cut it like F. so as you can see right here uh, we put two panels together so one eight and then like we cut it the other one six so you make it 14 panels so it made 14 panels so it cover the whole entire opening of the gate so what we're gonna do or what I'm doing is I'm, I'm using a 2 by 4 12 foot basically like uh, I'm stitch two gates two panels together as you can see like you know I brace like uh, each one is right here right there right there so it's kind of like a, we stitch all these panels together using by a uh, two by four so um, as we done right now so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this panel this gate over the wall over the right next to the panel and see like uh, uh, it li line up pretty well so the railing part over here is uh, since like uh, the ground over here is high on that side and lower on this end over here so instead of make it level so I right now I'm following the ground basically like uh, this two railing right here is not level at all so basically I'm following the ground it's tilted down that way tilted down that way because it's um, that one is uh, that part is lower and the other side of the ground which is over there is higher so basically I follow the um, the ground right now is slightly angle okay. yeah it's, it's I follow the contour of the ground so and um, these two pipes it has to be exactly same distance so basically the whole get a parallel with the bottom one the bottom one and the top one has to be parallel so basically like you know the the whole entire weight of the gate on the back side is gonna sit on those rails so um, the next part is putting this uh, railing system over the gate so what I did was I line up the first one I put it on the top of the um, the rail and then I put the second one on the bottom so it, so I can get like uh, the distance that between the top and the bottom so after that and then I put it here and I mount it at the end of the gate as you can see over here I put um, a drill through um, the pipe put one screw and then I um, secure it and same as this one and I have three of them lined up together so um, the reason I put this the screw through the pipes is just uh, to avoid like you know the whole pole will basically like uh, uh, after I put the gate holding the, a lot of weight it will slide down basically like the whole pole will go up and then the whole gate will go down so this to prevent that basically I hope um, let me show you from here and then on the other end is um, I'm pulling uh, putting this wheel six inch wheel so, uh, let me show you a little bit closer how I mount it together so uh, here is the wheel and the bottom of the wheel is it comes with a u-bolt so basically I put a u-bolt attach it to a 2x4 in between you can see put it on between and then I secure it with another 2x4 so basically I screw the whole 2x4 and another 2x4 vertical like horizontal horizontal and vertical so basically this front wheel will carry the whole entire weight of the gate so the front it's going to be like the front wheel is going to bury the whole entire weight of the gate and the, the 
end of the gate is going to be that two reel that gonna hold up, gonna hold the entire weight. So let me put the gate up right now. So now uh, we put the gate up against uh, the existing um, fence. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna lift it up and we're gonna put this reel over the top of the tube. So if you can see the bottom and the top and in the front is that um, those um, six inches wheels. I can do it now. Okay. Okay. Oh.